Hey, what is going on today, guys? Welcome to episode 106 of the Iron Man series, and please enjoy today's episode. I got the other complimentary uh, clues to go along with it, so that I can get myself another mask clue right here, guys. Oh, wow, full black dehyde. Good start, guys. Good start. I guess I should have known that it was going to happen one day. It's apparently supposed to take, like, on average of, like, six hours or something to get the full English set, so... I might get lucky, you know, might get it earlier, so we'll see. Let's give it a shot. Alright, game number four. Here we go. What do we get? Broken shit? Ah. Oh, come on. I thought that was a piece. Did my first trip of the Monogrillas uh, with Rigor. Now, it's, certainly the kills are definitely faster. Only thing I, I have to worry about is I have to bring a bit more prayer because this thing drains. Your prayer like a motherfucker. Same thing as piety, so yeah. Basically, I'm like, imagine using piety the whole time against these guys, so. Okay, let's go ahead and check my Wyvern Casey now. Just finished uh, another trip. 8,400. Damn, dude. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the 10,000. Alright. I guess I'll see you guys <laughs> with or without a fissy in 10,000. So I got a lot of prayer potions from Wyverns recently, so I thought why not just use Rigor for like a while and just test out the rates here. So I've been uh, using Rigor for like 20 minutes straight now, and as you can see, I'm getting a little bit over 50k experience an hour at Wyverns. Keep in mind though, I'm pretty much maxed out, you know, I am voided, uh, max range accuracy basically, and 99 range. But obviously this isn't practical, you're not going to be able to achieve you know this rate 24 7 because prayer pots are limited but if you did this is what you get mainly just want to showcase like the potential of rigor there's tons of more uh, places i would love to test out xp race for with rigor for sure oh what the hell man shield left half wow actually i've gotten quite a few of these on this account at this point but i don't think i've ever gotten one from wyvern so okay oh dagonauts do I want to do DKs in a time of shitty servers? You know, I think I'll risk it. It's whatever. I, I think I'll be fine. As long as Dagonoth Slayer Room is not instance. I don't think they are, so I should be good. I really want to test out the Staff of the Dead now that I have it. I haven't really used it yet, so... And it's also good for Dagonoth Bones as well. Higher prayer is always better, so let's stock up on some uh, prayer bones. Really enjoying using Tosse Staff of the Dead against Supreme, dude. I feel like I'm using a whip or something, you know, killing this guy. Oh, wow, that looks like a Twisted Bow on the ground, for real. I guess I will call this the Bootleg uh, Twisted Bow. Rigor, kill it within 13 seconds so that I can get to Supreme on time. Hell yeah, Rigor, look at that. Doing work, man. I'm gonna wrap up the task, actually. I could finish this whole thing, but... I ran out of trident charges. But yeah, next time, if I do get another one of these stats, I'll definitely hit up DKs again, because getting the bones is actually really good uh, with this setup, you know, especially with the toxic staff of the dead is so nice here. And yeah, just help with the prayer trading, so I'll be back for some more. Oh, whoa, I just hit a 49 blowpipe. Wow. God damn, Rigor, I love you. So I've already spent quite a bit of time trying to get angler outfit, and I just can't get it. And the thing is, I already have additional elite clue already, so I can just get another master clue. So, my plan is, I will just drop this one so that I can just get myself another master clue. And I will be continuing to grind for the anglerfish, you know, every so often when I get the chance. And uh, hopefully, you know, by the time I get something like this again, I'll have the full angler. But for now, I'm just going to get a new master clue. Alright, we got a new master clue. What is it looking like? Okay, these are all pretty good. Pretty good. So I forgot to mention, I did build the altar. I've been using it like many times a day because uh, switching spell books is quite useful, especially in your house. So I'm going to switch over to Ancients now because I got a dust double test to quickly uh, burst through, but so nice. Let's try this again. Watch this. Boom! All of them Lord in one go. Yeah, most of the time, there's maybe one or two stragglers, but, you know, lowering them like this definitely saves a bit of time. Well, guys, remember that crafting goal that I said a while ago? After buying runes off and on, I am pretty much almost done 
I got the 42,000 nature runes that I need for the 106,000 flax. So all that's left is for me to buy the remaining 8,000 astro runes. At the very least, buying astro runes is going to be a lot quicker because there's really anybody that ever buys the runes in the store. Whereas buying the nature runes, sometimes I have a bit of competition. So guys, I am done buying all my runes. I don't have to do this again because I doubt I'll ever uh, be able to you know, collect another 106,000 flax ever again. No, I really ever want to. So anyways, it's time to go ahead and string some flax into both strings. All 106,000. So using this spell, I can get around 75k crafting experience an hour, which is around 5,000 flax consumed in hours so it'll take me around 20 hours i'm guessing i'm gonna be breaking it into like you know hour to hour chunks and i'll be finishing all of these hopefully within just a few days and then i will have my 90 crafting yo this is amazing they changed berry option to second option in your house so i don't have to accidentally misclick and bury a bone i wish i had this such a long time ago because oh man the amount of bones i bury in my lifetime too much, too much. Burn a redwood log. Oh my lord, can I burn that? Okay, I can burn this. I just need a boost for it. Oh, right. I'm so glad I actually got the 85 fire making. Or else I would have been screwed. A lot. Yes, got it. Go. Burn the log. Perfect. Yay. Second step complete. So I realized I've been going to follow a lot from a master clue, so I decided I'm gonna go and get the music cape. So luckily for me, holiday tracks um, don't count, and the only most difficult track was the um, champion scroll music track. You know, it's very RNG to get the scroll, but I have it on here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and get the music cape, just for future master clues, it's gonna be a lot easier. So here we go, what do we get? Oh, wow! Yo, that's crazy. I got three unique items from uh, three Master Clues all in a row, so that's quite impressive, man. And I'm digging the uh, secondary stuff as well, man. I'll definitely take that. Not bad, not bad. For some reason, I cannot use the Dragon Pickaxe to excavate the statue. It's ridiculous. So I have to go all the way to Lumbridge and you know buy myself a freaking Bronze Pick just to unlock this track. Okay, I just need to go inside the, the lair real quick to unlock this music track called the uh, Bane, so here we go. I will be fighting this guy one-on-one -on -one at some day, so you better watch out, Corp. I'm coming for you soon. Alright, is this it? Yes, I unlocked the far side. Oh my god. Alright, might as well crack the safe wall. Might as well. And I failed. Oh well, I completed the music track, so. What the heck? Yo, Castle Wars be uh, active, man. I thought like, you know, the game kind of died out, but hey. Nice to see that there's still a lot of people uh, still playing this game of Castle Wars. That's very nice, man. The things you see while going for the music, Cape Grand. Really nostalgic, for sure. Deserves the music. Oh my god, this is so cool, man. This is like some extra hidden gem in this game. Oh man, this is nice. Wait, what? I'm only allowed to use magic? Fuck! I can't even fight this. Never mind. Retreat. Alright, I have to come back another time. God damn it. I forgot magic. Oops. Yes, let me add him. Perfect. Drop the scroll. Here we go. This is round two. Oops. I forgot about this door. You shall now die, goblin champion. Oh my god, this guy hits hard. He only has 32 HP though. I got this. Yo, this is so cool, man. I'm totally making this my video icon. Ah. Wow. Alright, this guy's a little bit too easy, though. I'm trying to savor this. Last hit. Splash game too strong right now. Slightly difficult battle. 1 HP left. And I have slayed the Goblin Champion. Thank you very much. Ooh, 120 Slayer XP, 120 Hit Point XP. Not bad. And I think that's everything. I think I've unlocked all the uh, track for the Music Cave. At long last, guys, it's time to purchase the Music Cave from Follow the Bard. Yes, about the Music Cave 
and it's only 99k coins but basically imagine as if it's like another 99 but damn yo that looks really nice really smooth white man oh my god dude that's dope check out that emote though air guitar emote so nostalgic very reminiscent if you guys remember it from back in the day but uh they got a trim option though let's check this out real quick here I have to unlock music tracks oh crap i can't even unlock that but i want to show you guys the main reason why i got this and that's the teleport sends me straight to follow man really convenient for master clue so gonna be really useful okay but look at the aesthetics though on this music cape dude it looks so nice i can totally fashion scape this one of the best looking capes in the game hands down yeah hold on i got food i'm 60 hp never mind i'm good oh shit if i had anything else though Oh, what is it? <gasps> no! No! I didn't think that would ever happen to me. Man. What do I do with this? Wow, it's 1.6 mil. Do you guys want to split? Yeah, man. Give me that 500k on your man. <laughs> Well, at least you guys got a laugh out of this, you know, I'll put this on the top so that people will know exactly what happened. So Dragon Throne Axe is the worst thing that anybody wants to see as like a rare drop from raids. And it's quite understandable because this thing is just not that valuable or particularly useful. I guess there's some situations for PKing, but on this Iron Man, I'll make an exception just because it is my first time ever getting the Dragon Throne Axe. So it's kind of like a quote-unquote unique item so it's not too bad but anyways i'm gonna be wrapping up today's episode guys hope you guys enjoyed today's video and as usual thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video feel free to give the video a like i would highly appreciate that and if you would like to stay up to date with future videos from this channel feel free to subscribe as well and i hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days take care guys